Hello, this is Glad Hatter, and I figure I'd narrate Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, but with a little twist, with the world's hottest chip around the world. I'm a little scared, so that's a really good mood to set the setting for narrating. So without further ado, we shall begin. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many quaint and curious volume of forgotten Leonore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. I got some RA on my fingers, and I'm, please remind me not to touch my eyes. Oh fuck, I got a lot on my fingers. Oh, it's crushed up too. This is some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. I'm gonna taste it on my fingers, see how it is. You're cheating. Ooh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah, distinctly I remember it was the bleak <laughs> December, and each dying ember rocked its ghost upon the floor. I need my napkin. <laughs> Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I sought to borrow from my book surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And in the silken and sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, till still, the beating of my heart, I stood repeating. He's gonna be a mean. This one's gonna be a the Lord. Some light. <clears throat> Entreating. Entrance at my chamber door. This is, this it is, <laughs> and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly, I have forgiven this. I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. Uh, my chamber door. Uh, <laughs> that I scarce was sure you heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Oh, darkness there, nothing more. Oh, oh. Deep into the darkness, peering along I stood there, wondering, oh, fearing, <laughs> doubting dreams no mortals ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there I'll have spoken, huh? Oh, it was the whispered word, Lenore. How's she puking? Uh, oh. And as I whispered, uh, an echo. I uh, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Oh, merely this and nothing more. Ah. Ah. The whole glass of milk is already gone. Oh, give me more. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> Back into the chamber turning. <laughs> All my soul within me, Brian. Soon again I heard it's having somewhat louder than before. Uh, oh. Uh, surely, said I. Surely that is something. <laughs> Oh, at my window lattice, let me see what threat is in this vision. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. And my heart be still a moment in this mystery explored. Tis the wind. <laughs> And nothing more. He's going to you. Oh, oh, God. 
Oh god. Shit, put hot sauce on it. Not hot enough, apparently. Ugh. Open there, I flung the shutter at the wind. With many of a flirt and flutter. And a. Uh, Give me a popsicle. Oh, please. God. Give him some bread or something. Oh, God. It's really bad. Oh. Well, if, the, that ain't, if that wasn't going to make him sick, that chip, that sure is going to make him sick milk and popsicles. That's not doing anything. Oh, God. Oh God! It's yeah, it's stuck in your toilet teeth. Ah, <laughs> uh, get it out! Got a toothpick? <laughs> That's why. That's why I kept some burning. It was stuck in between my fucking teeth. Ah. Uh, I forgot my place. And there's step a saintly raven and the saintly days of yore. Not the least obedience made he. Not a minute struck or said he, but with mine of lore or lady perched above my chamber door. Perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door. Perched and sat and nothing more. Mm. And then the zebney bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of this countenance it wore. Though the crest be shorn and shaven thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy like, lordly name is on night's Plutonian shore, clothed the raven. Nothing more. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Much I marveled this ungainly foul to hear this score so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little reverence he bore, for we cannot help but agreeing, agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculpture bust of of his chamber door with such name as Nevermore. My lips are so hot right now. Oh God. It says a spicy punch to the tongue, no fucking shit. There's still something in the back of my mouth. Oh. But the raven still, sitting lonely on the placid bus, spoke only that one word. That one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour nothing further than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered. Other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before, then the bird said, nevermore. Oh fuck, I scrolled too far down. Oh. Uh, startled at the stillness broken, but reply so aptly spoken. Doubtless, said I, what it utters is still solely stock and store. Uh, caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster. 
Followed fast and followed faster to this song's numbered and bored till the dirges of his hope, that melancholy bird of bore of never, never more. <coughs> but the raven <coughs> is still beguiling all my fancy into smiling. Straight I wheeled a cushion. <coughs> Seat in front of bird and bust on door. And then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself into link and fancy into fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt of ominous bird of yore, mit and croaking nevermore. This I set, oh, I swallowed a little bit by accident. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's old core. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> it is a little bit extra that went up down my throat. This and more as I sat divining with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's vivid lining that the lamp light gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining? But the lamp light gloating o'er, she, she shall pass, uh, nevermore. And then, methought, there grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim, whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy god had lent thee, by angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite, and nepenthe from the memories of Lenore. Quaif, oh, quaif, this kind of penthe, and forget this lost Lenore, the quote of the raven. Nevermore. <coughs> uh, prophet said I thing of evil, prophet still of bird or devil, whether tempter sent or whether tempters tossed thee here ashore desolate, yet still undaunted at, on this desert land enchanted, on his home in horror haunted, my belly is upset. Tell me truly, I implore, is there is there balm in Galade? Tell me, tell me I implore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Ah, my lips, I'm almost done finally. Prophet said, I think of death, a thing of evil. Prophet still of bird or devil by thy heaven that bends above us by that God we both adore tell us soul with sorrow laden if within the distant Aden it shall collapse a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore, collapse a rare radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven. Nevermore. I think my lips are getting black. Be the word of our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Get thee back into the temptest of the night, plutonium shore. No, leave no black plume as a token as thou lie. Oh, I have spoken. <clears throat> leave my loneliness unbroken. Quiet the bust above my door. Take the beak from out my heart and take thy form from out my door, quoth the raven. Nevermore. The raven never flitting, still sitting, still is sitting on the pallid dusk of Pallas, just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all of the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadows on the floor, and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. And I feel the exact same fucking way with this goddamn tortilla chip. I'm glad I had her. Oh, God, I think I'm going to throw up.